Yes, we have, like I said, after the last game, uh, Richard Lejeune was a, has a small problem, and now he's available. He trained, he's been training for uh, in this week, and he's available. No, no, no injuries. Uh, player, and we recover also Lucas, and we are happy to say that because Lucas is. Uh, He's been training uh, this week, and he played uh, 45, uh, 40 minutes with the young team, and he's back. Could be, yeah. He's a he's a player with he's young, but uh, he has a great experience. Uh, he played in a similar system. We used to play. Is a player available? We can use him to, uh, in two days. We have another session, a training session. So he can improve. He's a he's a he's a great player. Technically, he's a he's a good player. We we were impressed uh, uh, by his performance against us, and we know very well him. Uh, we don't know yet uh, when Antonio is uh, coming back. Uh, everything is possible. He's, he's, uh, the surgery was uh, was good. He's recovering well. At the moment, he's uh, at home. So we have uh, two days for the game, and everything can happen. Alison? Hi. Hi. Uh, after the surgery, it's normal to don't have the energy to speak about. But uh, immediately, when uh, he recovered well from from the surgery, he called me back, and uh, he started to talk about training and, uh, and the next game. He, I, I grow uh, with Antonio like an assistant manager. I was uh, a player with him, so I know very well his mentality, what he wants uh, from from the team, and the way we we work uh, linked with with Antonio, also with Ryan Mason. So everyone in the staff is ready to. Uh, transfer to the player the idea of Antonio. Uh, for me, it's easier maybe than uh, some new assistant because uh, I know Antonio very well. And so uh, Antonio sent me a message and he trusts in us uh, completely. And 100% uh, I, I trust in, in the staff. And we are focused more, more than normal because we have to do what Antonio normal do, and Antonio is happy uh, about our job. Thanks, Hans. Ian? How much of a frightening stroke concerning week has it been? Because while it's accepted that players will get injured, players will get unwell and need surgery, it's not very often that a manager suddenly has a situation where he needs to go into hospital yeah, it was uh, we are complaining this situation. We are we were upset. Uh, we real when we realized the situation um, was uh, Antonio to call me and uh, explain me the situation because uh, next, last week uh, he had a, a problem. But we thought was uh, heal or influence, not uh, a problem like this. 
and when he discovered this uh, was a, a surprise and uh, he was uh, so sad about this and uh, but we have to to keep going and uh, and work uh, we uh, we had the time to speak with antonio before the surgery how we have to prepare and the way to prepare the next game and then uh, uh, we have lost him for 12 hours the time to have the surgery the surgery was not difficult and it's important he recover well this is the most important thing because Yeah, this is uh, the game uh, you are waiting for and you want to play every time this type of game. Uh, players are exciting to to approach and uh, we are I feel that the players are so focused on this match. Uh, we have a it's not a long time we played against them and for sure we are we have to be worried in the right way. Uh, speaking about uh, their, not only Holland but all the team they have because it's a, it's a great team. It's uh, maybe the greatest team uh, in the world and they fight every time to win a, a trophy. And so we are scared uh, in the right way but we respect them but we feel that we can uh, we can repeat uh, the same uh, first half we had in the last game and uh, we can do it for 90 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Nick? You, you looked after the team. You, you stood in for Antonio Conte uh, various times before. On this occasion, are, 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 do you have more responsibility or is this very similar to previous times? Yes, I have more, more responsibility. It's, uh, it's clear this because it uh, never happened uh, before. And, but uh, I feel around uh, myself that everyone keep more uh, responsibility and we are so focused we have meeting every day like normal we do and everyone push himself uh, in another level trying to push himself in another level to help uh, the team and the player and uh, to play a great game Sunday we cannot compare <laughs> Me and uh, Guardiola, absolutely, is uh, two team. They have to play, and we are, we have, we feel that we have a, a team ready to play against Man City. And it's not, uh, it's not possible to speak about this. It's not uh, because we play in our stadium, it's because we play against a team that uh, last game uh, scored four goals in, uh, in one half. And we have to be aware about this and we have to, uh, to be ready to, to play a different, uh, same game but a different game. So uh, a game, uh, you decide a game uh, in one uh, penalty box and in the other. So it's very important to to play well in this pace. Thanks, Nick. Ali. Um, obviously, Antonio is such an emotional, kind of animated character. We know that, especially during matches. When he does come back, how do you kind of make him more careful and stop sort of pushing him too hard? I think no one here can uh, keep Antonio calm, <laughs> and and so. Uh, he knows because obviously to have a surgery and to have a surprise like he had uh, uh, Sunday uh, is not easy and he's an intelligent man. So he, know, he knew very well uh, what happened on him. His surgery is not, is, is not the worst surgery you can have, but it's a surgery. So you have to be careful. And Antonio has to do it. Well, I, 
I'm not the right person to speak about the transfer market, we, but uh, I am uh, the person that can speak about uh, how we are. We have to say thanks to the player that uh, go to play in another club, for another club. And uh, Mark Doherty, Brian Gill and Jet Spence are three uh, great players. We, we, we were so happy to work with them and uh, uh, we can say only thanks, a big thanks to them. They are also they are great players and great guys. So... Uh, is every time I'm sad when I arrive this moment, when close the transfer uh, window, and you lose some player, you have new, you have a this balance between uh, uh, to be sad and uh, to be exciting to work with the new player. So we are excited to work with Pedro Porro and Juma, and we are sad because we lose a great guy and great man. Okay, we we'll go Jack, and then finish with George, please. I repeat, uh, it's a long time I work with Antonio, and I know Antonio, so uh, maybe it's not the uh, uh, most difficult things uh, preparing training, or, or it's more some details that uh, a coach has uh, in his uh, in his dip, in uh, uh, in his uh, idea that sometimes they don't show to everyone, and so Antonio explained some detail to me to be ready to follow the training and to to manage the training. And uh, obviously we speak about uh, the team that has to start uh, uh, Sunday, but uh, we have uh, also one day and one uh, training session to analyze the, perfectly the situation. It's a different uh, week because uh, the energy that Antonio has is, uh, is a big fire and uh, uh, all the staff has to push himself, uh, himself uh, in another level to try to transfer to the player the right things but we, we are playing a match uh, so difficult so uh, it's maybe it's easier, it's easier this week because we have a, a, a big beast to, to challenge and uh, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's normal that the players are so focused and approaching this, uh, this type of match. Okay, we'll finish this section with George, please. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Uh, the decision uh, will be made uh, tomorrow. Um, Nothing. We we are ready to do everything, and Antonio uh, uh, probably a doctor that uh, did the surgery. They have to decide for him. But we have a uh, 40, 48 hours, two days to decide. So we have time.